So today I am so excited to be back in traditional Chinese clothing. This is called Chai Hong Yu Quan. I haven't worn this on video yet and oh my god, look at how beautiful it is. It has like a lotus motif and it's kind of like a light peachy pink with a little bit of green and white and I love this one so much. I think this is probably my favorite one that I own so far. And I am so honored to be partnering up with Honestly, what has become one of my favorite Chinese makeup brands, they are called Floresis and their makeup is just so beautiful and I feel like it just really represents like the best part of Chinese culture. It's so beautiful and so artistic and rather than being makeup, it is honestly just a work of art. And the entire concept of the brand is that it's based on ancient Chinese beauty formulas. So my hair is really, really basic right now. I just put it up in some pigtails and we're going to get to that later. But first, let's do our makeup. All right, so first I'm going to prime my face and I'm going to be using this primer from Floresis. And this is their Camila Nourishing Primer. It's going to help brighten up uneven skin tone. So it's like a perfect all-in-one primer. It has kind of like a lightweight watery texture. So this is definitely, ooh, and it feels like super nourishing for my skin already. This is the Moisturizing Ginseng Lip Mask. Oh my God, it's like so nourishing. So far, this is my favorite thing that I've tried from them and it just feels like really plush and really plump. It has a little bit of a minty feel to it, which I actually really, really like. This is actually my favorite lip mask that I've ever tried so far and I'm actually like really, really impressed with this. All right, I'm going to put on foundation now and I am going to be using this foundation from Floresis. So I'm going to try out the shade Lotus. Um, obviously my hands are kind of darker than my face, but I think this might be like a perfect match for me. Um, this is supposed to be um, a true beige with a neutral undertone. So this foundation is going to be really good for people who have combination skin or also oily skin. And you know, obviously it's like summertime and my skin is producing a bit more oil than it usually does. Already it feels like really, really lightweight. Like, oh my God, it feels like I have nothing on. And okay, I am actually really, really impressed with how this feels on my skin. It's like ridiculously lightweight. I think sometimes for um, foundations that I've tried that are more for like oily skin, they tend to go on like really thick and feel kind of suffocating. But this actually feels even more lightweight than my current tinted moisturizer that I'm using. So, whoa. <laughs> I'm really, really, really impressed with how lightweight and breathable this feels. All right, so next I'm going to powder my face and Ta-da! Another gorgeous, beautiful package from Floresis. This is their Gorgeous Peach Blossom Powder. So this is actually Floresis's um, number one selling product. So I'm like really excited to like see, you know, how this performs. But what I really, really love about Asian brands is that their makeup is just like really lightweight. Like that's the entire point of all of their like products. Like it's just lightweight and it feels breathable. And just like patting this on, not only is this like the plushest like puff that I've ever put on my face. Like this, this is luxurious. Um, it does also feel super, super lightweight. So I really, really love this. Oh my God. It feels really, 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 really soft and really nice. Next, I'm going to do my eyebrows just a tiny bit. So what is really amazing about this eyebrow pencil is that it's super, super smooth. So generally I don't need to do a lot for my eyebrows. Um, they're already like kind of, you know, pretty full. Um, but as you can see, like the tail end is a little bit like more sparse. So I'm just going to quickly, um, you know, add a little bit there. All right, now I'm going to add some color to my face and I'm going to be using this, which is the Peony Rose Blush. It's enhanced with rose and peony. So again, it's about the entire concept where you are putting on makeup, but also, you know, taking care of your skin. It's so beautiful and so silky. It feels like not really a powder when you apply it. It feels definitely more moisturizing than that. And if you're like me and you have kind of like a, a a dry combination skin type. This feels really, really nice. And I really, really love how, again, it has like those like little shimmers inside the blush powder. So you can see how there's like a little bit of shine to it. All right, so next I am going into my highlighter and it literally took my breath away to see this beautiful carved rose in the highlighter. Like, are you kidding me? So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit with a fan brush and also on my cheekbones. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's so pretty, like what gives? Now I'm going to go into my eyes. And you guys, this makeup palette, when I opened it, 
I literally wanted to cry because it's the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. Like I, I feel actually like really sad to dip into this and, and to use it because this is just the most exquisite thing that I own in my entire makeup collection. I'm just going to take um, this middle color right here, gonna add this all over my eyelids. And when it comes to like Western makeup versus Asian makeup, Asian makeup just tends to be like so much more light and natural. And I obviously have, you know, Asian eyelids. And so I don't have a lot of space right here. So when I go in with really heavy pigmented colors, it is super overwhelming for my eyelids. And so I really love to just build up the pigment and I love like a more natural look. All right, next, I'm going to go into this color on the bottom right here and I'm trying to go on really really lightly with the color like as you can see it's kind of more of just like contouring a little bit so what I'm doing here is that I'm kind of starting at the outer corner of my eye and I'm adding a little bit of color here and then I'm bringing it up where it's kind of in like a cat eye motion and then I'm blending it to the top so as you can see it's kind of just like contouring the outer part of my eye just to kind of like bring in that definition and to like make it look a little bit wider because again I don't have a lot of space right here and so I don't really want to pack in a lot of color on my eyelids because it gets muddled really quickly and then from here I'm going to pick up this reddish color and then I'm just going to start feathering this on the outer half of my eyelid and I'm staying really close to my lash line again because I don't want it to get too muddled don't have a lot of space so you know I'm, I'm doing what I can it tends to look really closed off and make my eyes look smaller if I add a lot on my lower lash line so I'm going in with the lightest touch with just um, hmm. I think I really liked this color on the bottom um, and again this isn't really to add color um, it's really more to just contour my eye to kind of balance it out between the shadow on the top and the bottom. And I think with my eye shape in particular, it took me a really, really long time to understand with my my eye shape that um, sometimes like adding more is really not the way to go. So finally going back into this beautiful highlighter palette, I'm just taking my finger and I'm just going to apply a little bit on the inside of my eye. I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara really quick. All right, I've got my eyelashes on. I feel like I'm not a complete human being unless I have my mascara on. So lastly, I'm just going to put on some lip product and you guys, the most beautiful lipstick in the world is now in my possession. When I opened this, I didn't even know what I was looking at because it was just like so fabulous that like my brain couldn't comprehend what I was looking at. You guys, this is a lipstick. So this is the Floral Dewy Linked Lipstick and I have two colors. So right here you can see how it looks like a little like lock and key. So you just push this and the lipstick comes out. It is the most beautiful lipstick known to man. And I think the coolest thing about this one is that the formula is a replica of an ancient Chinese formula. Like I don't even wanna use this. It's like too beautiful. It has this amazing Chinese artwork engraved in it. Like how did they even do this? I'm losing my mind. So then I have another lipstick and this is the Flowers Galaxy lipstick. And the one that I'm using today is a bright red. I have never in my life been more excited to own lipsticks. So I still have the ginseng lip mask on my lips from earlier and I'm going to leave it there because it's just going to help, you know, keep my lips hydrated underneath any lip product that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to dab very, very lightly um, this lipstick on top. And then I'm actually going to put on more of the ginseng lip mask on top of this to act as a gloss because I'm like really obsessed with this product actually, like it feels so comfortable and hydrating. Finally, it's time for my favorite part of literally doing anything and that is hair. So I already separated my hair. So again, um, I did this funny little part in the center which was like really popular in ancient China where you do a bit of a middle part but you leave this like thick sprig in the center and you know, it kind of looks cute I think. Um, I left out like a one inch section of hair on each side of my face and then the rest of my hair I tied off into two high pigtails. So this one is going to be really really easy. It's just inspired by ancient Chinese hairstyles but it's definitely super doable for anyone who wants to do um, an ancient Chinese inspired hairstyle but casually. So I'm taking each side of my pigtail and I'm going to start braiding this off into a three strand braid and I'm going about halfway down my hair 
and then I'm just going to tie this off with an elastic. It's a little bit tragic because I have like really bright colored hair. I don't have any like black hair ties. So if you see like a bright pink hair elastic sticking out at any moment, you know just to, just to ignore it. So I have my two braided pigtails that are just braided halfway down. Honestly, I feel like this already looks insanely cute. Um, but I'm just going to take this and I'm going to bring it around and loop it once. So from the side, I have like a little loopy and I have the rest of my hair just dangling down and I'm going to pin this in place. And then I'm just going to repeat this on the other side. So again, taking this braid, bringing it up and backwards, and I'm going to pin it right there. It's pretty messed up because not only do I have like intensely long hair that goes down to like my low back, which is, you know, all pinned up and smushed under this wig cap. I also have this wig on top, which is also mid back length and then now i'm trying to pin this so i've got like a lot of bobby pins just like smushed on the top of my head and it's a uh, very very uncomfortable i have my longer layers in the front here and then i have these shorter layers back here so it has sort of like a cascading effect and i think that's kind of the point with traditional chinese hairstyles where there's like a lot of layers with um the different techniques of your hairstyle which you know come together and make something interesting and i'm just going to put in some simple hairpins this time because again i'm going for like a more youthful look and so i'm just going to add in this like little green hairpin and i'm going to add a matching one right here and that's it for this hairstyle <sighs> Super, super youthful and super cute. I think this is actually one of my favorite ancient Chinese inspired hairstyles that I've ever done just because it's like so easy to do. Literally takes five minutes. So that's it for this video. I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. It's definitely the look that I was going for. Um, and I am again, just so honored to be partnering with such an amazing Chinese brand. So thank you so much to Floresis for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for just enjoying, you know, these videos where I just get to like, nerd out about Chinese things because it is truly just an amazing way for me to get in touch with my culture and thank you so much to my amazing patreon supporters as always I love you guys so much so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys again next week